Hi everyone, I am back with another pocket letter share. This one is for a swap I am doing with a friend currently on Facebook right now. And I let her pick the theme that we were going to do. And she picked favorite thing. Well, I thought that was going to be really, really hard to choose from at first. But, um... As soon as I kind of thought, oh, okay, favorite thing, like Disney immediately popped into my head because it is actually my all-time most favorite thing in the world. Um, I have been a Disney lover since I was a kid. I was born and raised in California. We went several times when I was really young. Um, then we moved to Colorado and we've been here since, but... I have been lucky enough that my husband is really adamant about taking family vacations. And when we started doing those in 2007, we have gone to Disney World in Florida every two years. So that's kind of how we have to take our vacations. Do I mean, there's, you know, six of us. So, um, yeah, Disney has been my most favorite thing, even more so now as an adult. So... I would continue going back every two years for the rest of my life. I know when the kids are, you know, at some point when they're older and on their own and whatever, we will be able to travel to Disney um, a lot more often because I want to and, you know, that's what I want to do. So we will do that eventually. But, um, so Disney being my favorite thing, I wanted to make a pocket letter that was more specific about why why Disney is my favorite, like explaining my favorite thing. So I went on Google and I printed out some pictures. I printed out, printed out um, one for the Magic Kingdom, one for Downtown Disney, one for Epcot, and one for Hollywood Studios because those are my four favorite places to go um, when we go to Disney World. So that's what I did for those, and then I just sized them in, I have a Kodak printer, so I can print them to photo sizes, and I don't have to mess around with anything, so these are just two by threes. And then I just did some matting, and I cut these little Mickeys out from a sheet of open stock paper that I believe you can get at Michael's, I think that's where I got it. And they're 12 by 12 sheets, I had bought a whole bunch of these because they were really cute and I knew I would use them. Um, so I just cut the little Mickeys out, just fussy cut around some of the Mickeys, and went ahead and glued those to the little um, corners of the photos that I did. There, now we can see. And, because um, I didn't have any little tiny Mickey Mouse stickers, so, you know, use what you got. <laughs> um, so for the Mickey head, the hands, and the bow, I cut those out using my Cricut. And for the stars, I've got a red star and a yellow star. I just did some layering with cardstock and I used these two punches for the stars. So that's how I did that. And then my centerpiece here, which is normally my quote area. So a friend of mine sent this to me on Pinterest and I love that it says I am either at Disney or I am missing Disney because that could not be any more true for me. So super cute. I just went ahead and printed that out and just did some matting. And then I punched out some little Mickey heads in the corners and put little rhinestones. And I used this little tiny Mickey Mouse punch here. I don't know who makes this. It says Disney on the bottom, but it I don't know. I've had it since my son, my oldest son was probably two. He's almost 20, so I mean, yeah, he's I've had it for a long time. So that's the front, and this is the first time that I have ever just decorated the front of my pocket letter and put all the stuff in the back. But the reason I did that this time is because I wanted to print out, I just used Word, and I printed out why I like these specific places. So my swap partner would know why I picked Downtown Disney, why I picked the Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. So it's just kind of a little short rundown on what I like about those parks. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I went ahead and just taped these to the backs of these, but it left it really plain in the back, having something and then nothing in these. So 
I went ahead and put the stuff in the back. I have these little tiny sticky notepads. Um, I got these three when I was at Disneyland last year visiting a friend in California. And we did a Disney day. So we found those at the park and they were super cute. They do have them at Disney World also. I just um, didn't pick any up this year and I totally should have because now they're perfect for pocket letters. But oh well. So then I, I've i been doing some little bow paper clips and ribbon paper clips. Well, I didn't have any Disney ribbon. So I went ahead and tried to make bows out of washi tape and I think they turned out pretty cute. So there's three of those in there. And then I have a little um, thing that has some samples of washi tape and some Disney twine. I got this giant roll of Disney twine and I honestly don't even remember. I got this on Facebook. Like they advertise on Facebook but um, I don't remember the name of the shop so I'm going to have to look it up so I can let you guys know. But they were running a special on that roll, so I went ahead and bought the whole thing. Um, <laughs> then, down here I have some little embellishments in this little bag. This is a jewelry bag that you can get in the jewelry section. I got it at Walmart. It's one and a half by two inches, and it's got a little Ziploc on it. So, I use the two by threes and I went to go buy some more of those and I found them but then I found these too and there's like a hundred in a package that you can get for a dollar so these are perfect for little tiny embellishments like this I don't have the fuse that everybody's using to fuse the pockets and all that stuff and then if you fuse the pocket closed you can't use any of the stuff inside of it or you have to cut it open so I prefer using these little bags instead um, so I just put some sequins in there, which I also found at Walmart, in a big variety pack of different colors. So I just picked out the yellow, the red, and the black. I have some little teeny tiny little clear rhinestones in there. They're like 1.5 millimeters or something like that. Um, they're actually nail art um, rhinestones that I have. So then I also have some little stars that I got at Scrapbook Expo last year. So there's some red, some clear, and then there's some yellow ones in there too. Little yellow stars in there that I just kind of tossed in. So little bag of embellishments that actually can be used on something. A layout, a card, um, whatever. So everything in here that is a goodie can be reused and then here in the center is where I'll put my little envelope with my letter so that is my favorite thing pocket letter I hope you guys like it and I will see you all in my next video bye